Robbie, does it bother you that um, you're not getting the title fight next against uh, John Jones? No, it doesn't bother me because I don't worry about things that I'm not in control of. I worry about getting better as a fighter, worried about the things I can control, which is uh, getting better, and I'm fighting Jake Ellenberger, and that's what I concentrate on. Why have you got better in this latter part of your career? What's changed? What's changed in Robbie Lawler? I mean, there's a lot of things, but everything's kind of coming together. All the things I've learned in the past, I'm starting to use and starting to implement. But uh, just being at, at a really good camp down at American Top Team, coming back to the UFC uh, rejuvenated me. Moving down to 170 definitely rejuvenated me. It's just uh, everything happening at the right time and me being mentally and physically prepared for it. Tell me about Jake Allenberger. What can you control? You talk what, don't, don't pull too hard, the microphone might drop off. Um, the, um, what can you control about Jake Ellenberger in this contest? Do you think um, your southpaw stance and the left hand and your upper body movement could be vital in this fight? I just think you did there. But technically, in the stand-up in the last fight with uh, with Johnny Hendricks, that your your shoulder rolls and, and moving from the waist was, and and standing right in the pocket with him and slowing down the fight. So it was tactically brilliant, and and that confidence of being able to slip punches could be something uh, that's uh, one of the big pluses for this fight with Ellenberger? Have you watched the fight with Hendricks back? Pettis is young and spry. It was a good fight. Uh, I just need to get better. That's how I look at that fight. I just saw the holes that I needed to uh, strengthen and uh, fill in, and uh, everything's going to be better. And there was a moment in the fifth round there. You know, you, you, you'd almost won the fight in the fourth round. And there was a moment there in the fifth round where you, the exhaustion levels had started to kick in for you. He cleverly took you down. And you looked up at the clock. I think he might have been looking up at the clock as well, as if to say, you didn't. I didn't look at the clock. The clock was above us. Okay. You see this. Like, normally you're in an arena where, like, the, there's a TV screen that you mm. can see, so I couldn't see the clock. I was looking at the ref while he was just sitting on my legs, like, whatever. Was there a moment, in, in that moment, where you, you know, as I said about the exhaustion, it was difficult to get up, where you were thinking, dang, this fight maybe is just getting away from me here, and I had it won? No, not really. I was just thinking, man, he's freaking just sitting on my legs. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. And is it true, you've had the beard, you've had big frizz before. Is it true, and I think I put my finger on this Einstein theory a little while ago, the less hair you have on your head and your face, the better you are as a fighter? Uh, I don't know about that. Just the hard work and dedication, I think, uh, there are, there are a lot of helps out. You know, I mean, uh, there, there Thank you, man. Thank you.